The world's mightiest media companies bowed this weekend to demands of Hollywood worker bees, the lighting and sound technicians, carpenters, makeup artists, set decorators, costume designers and others who work behind the scenes on film and TV sets. It was a rare display of muscle for the industry's below-the-line production crews, who were threatening to stage a devastating strike. The deal reached Saturday between Hollywood's major studios and leaders of the cruise union, the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, includes 3% annual wage hikes, improvements in pay and conditions on streaming productions, observance of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, and are. Our members stood firm. The company's negotiating arm, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, declined to comment. But one person familiar with the negotiations who was not authorized to speak publicly, said, this is a good deal for both sides. It's not a done deal. About 40, 000 union members from 13 Hollywood locals must still approve the pact. Although union leaders expect a majority of members will support the proposed three-year contract, some Yahtzee members on social media lamented that the proposals didn't go far enough. Several members said 3% annual raises were unacceptable when the inflation rate this year is 5.4%. Others argued the deal wouldn't entirely eliminate grueling workdays. I've had too many people weeping on the floor of my office in exhaustion, costumer designer Terry Dressbox said in an interview. Although she's awaiting more details, Dressbox said she's leaning toward voting no. I'm not seeing any improvement for quality of life for people. But Nelson Coates, president of the Art Directors Guild Yahtzee Local 800, told members Sunday that it was a strong contract. The employers moved on issues some thought would never be addressed, Coates said. Several senior members of the bargaining committee have been fighting for improved turnaround and weekend rest for nearly three decades. Studio executives acknowledged offering more concessions than planned. With the clock racing toward a midnight Sunday deadline for a strike, the studios backed down late Friday over issues of meal breaks and rest periods, according to four people with knowledge of the talks. Early on, studios suggested allowing workers 48 hours of rest time on weekends, according to one of the knowledgeable persons, 